Well, hello everybody, and it's welcome back again to Galactic Science 2 on Mars. I was just having a look around, let's see if we can find a good place to go and hide, because it's coming up to night time. And I think there's some good places around here. I want to find a hill, or a decent size. So there's one over there, let's go and do this hill. In fact, let's get my RR pickup into hand so we can go a bit faster. Yeah, that's a good size hill, I like the look of that one. But there are a few things I did forget. I've been thinking about it as I was uh, starting up between between episodes, as it were. I was thinking, oh, what have I forgotten to do? So let's lock the way this a bit. Good. So what I'm going to do in here is just make a little hole to get in. Just maybe I should check and inspect what's going on down there. But I think here's a good place. Yeah, I think here's a good place. We'll we'll hold up here for a bit. As you can see, that's the the daytime. And if I go th carry on going through, let's put some torches down. Right click the. It's a bit cheaty this, I do know, but uh, I don't actually mind if it's there. I'll you I will take advantage of it. So let's put up some walls around here. I should have brought myself my builder's wand as well. Yep, that'll do nicely. If I can actually get the things in the right place. And I'll leave a little hole here, just so I can see out. And then we shall carry on going through here. In fact, if I press F4, which I'm going to do, I can see where we've got. It's actually funny whether you've got green on red. It doesn't look work too well, but it works well enough. So what I'm doing now is I'm just making a few, oh yeah, now we've got some red bits. I'm just making a little passageway through here. Well, I suppose it's not really a passageway. And I want to go start to go downhill. Oh yeah, let's put the torch down there. So let's start to go downhill here. Well, I say down, I'm going to make a small passageway down here, put some torches down. And while we're here, we're going to put down the waystone and we're going to put into the ender chest the other bits and pieces so let's put to there so we've got the waystone here I'm going to put the rocket back in here like that but I don't need all of my tools with me I'll keep the, I'll keep the compass with me that's going to be very important I'll keep the, this I'll keep the axe I'll keep the bow actually there's not much bringing the bow because I haven't got any arrows with me that was a bit daft wasn't it and the rest of that I think we'll do if I'll leave that cobblestone up there too so we'll put this waste down, down here. And we'll call this moon uh, Mars base, huh? Done. So that's now, it's not active, but it's named. And we don't want to activate this, because if we do, we can't get home again. So let's carry on going down here, see what we can find. Really what I want to do is to find a bit of dash if it's possible. And I also want to get some of these these resources. They're very useful resources, what we've got down here. All of Mars is basically a means to get on with AE2. Because when you, if you sieve some of this, you get one product. And if you sieve something else, you get something else. And if you, if you turn it, if you put it through the uh, Magna Crucible, you get compounds like gallium arsenide. I think it's one of the very useful ones that we get. So I shall just carry on going down here. What height am I now? 69. I want to make sure I don't overuse. There's some there. Uh, what about that? Got some dust. That's four pieces of dash to start with. What I'd like to get was about 10 pieces of dash. What have we got there? Iron ore. Okay, well, iron's actually not one of our problems we've got. There we are. Dash is very useful because for dash we can make machine frames. We can also make a, an alloy mixer of types. I'm actually run out of space here now. This will be copper. 
Oh boy, let's go and take this upstairs and put what we can away. And also, what well, I didn't, I did bring food with me, but what I really should have brought with me is something else. I should have brought aspirin and um, one of those two food type resources you just have to walk through. So we put these down here. We can now get rid of all this cobblestone that we've got here, or at least some of it. Can I stack anything up in here? Not really. I've got some chests. Let's take these chests out of here. Put those around about here as well, I think. Okay, that's a torch, never mind. And what we can do is we can take out some of the stuff that we're not going to need, like these these oxygen tanks we can leave here, definitely, and we can leave the food. And we can probably leave the tin ore and the copper ore. Oh, we've got six dash, that's pretty good, actually. What else can we leave here? We'll, leave, we'll put the chunk loader down for starters. I don't really need the chunk loader at the moment, but it'll do for the time. We don't need to carry it with us anyway, because that was the intention. What else have we got here? Copper ore. Dash we'll definitely want to keep with us. And cobblestone we probably don't need with us. Let's might need it downstairs. We'll take it, we'll hold on to it for the time being. What else have we got in here? Now what else can we get rid of? Some surface rock and some surf surface rock. I oh, will take these oxygen things out of here too. We'll need we'll need the rocket and the rocket pad. We'll need the fuel. Probably don't need these here. Probably don't need the quarry. Let's leave those here. But it's a good idea to leave some oxygen stuffed here anyway. Because in case we die, I think we shall respawn reasonably near to this place. I hope anyway. If not, I'll have to figure it out. What else have we got in here that we don't need? That's basically it, I think. So we can carry on going down, I think, as well. I can hear a zombie. We've got enough oxygen for the time being to go down a little bit further. Hopefully we'll find some more dash as we go down. We've got six pieces out of the ten that I really need, or would like to get. It's not essential. Oh, there's some more. Look at that. Fantastic. How much is there? Looks quite a decent amount, actually. I think we've probably got enough now. Fifteen. Well, since we're able to go and do a few bit more. Oh, look at that. Some more, too. And plenty of it. I can just mine these out with the with the single mode. I didn't go down far enough with this one, strange. Take away this one. And what have we got down here? More? Got that one fantastic. Yeah, let's put torch two down there. And all we have to do now to go back is to use the um, the return scroll. Shift. Well, I've got some more dash. I'm going to take that while I'm here. And some more of that. Tin ore. We don't really need tin ore. We'll t so we're not going to waste time on that. We'll let the we'll let the quarry pick up all this tin ore and stuff like that when we we make a quarry. I've got to go back home and make another quarry. I think I'll make a quarry plus because they are just uh, fantastic. A bit, more, a bit more capacity yet. So. Look at that. More dash. Oh yeah, more dash. I must be at the right level for dash now. What level are we on? 24. Sure. 
Okay, I think I've probably got enough of whatever I need. 44 dash. That's more than I expected to get, I will be honest. Right, now we're full. So now we can go up. Probably can take some of this subsurface rock with us as well because I'm probably not full on subsurface rock here. What have I got here for subsurface rock? What does it look like I've got any? Alright, let's go. Let's go back. Let's go back home, take this stuff up with us. So that was a good little trip. But really I haven't done brought anything with me that I really should have brought with me. <laughs> so what we're going to do when we get back is we're going to make a quarry plus. We're going to get some solar panels. Because we'll need those. This is a bit of a pain getting out of here, isn't it? I probably should find a better way. And then and oh, that's full too. Tell you what we don't need we don't need the cobblestone with us let's put the cobblestone over here we got some more i picked up some more stuff in here didn't i what did i pick up then subsurface rock can we put away in here that will do I think let's take the return scrolls with us we only need to use one so what you do with this now is you just simply hold down the right get it in your hand and press the hold down the right hand button and that's it turn off that so here we are again wow that's fantastic well this moon you see this one's activated so what we can now do as we can make a lot more of these return scores and every time you use it it uses one up which is actually not so great but so in this end of the chest here I have got basically the stuff that's coming in from the mine so if I extend this I can put the items that we're getting from Mars so let's just take another capacity card here and put that into here and then we'll make another end of chest so basically we've got Mars cobblestone We've got Mars subsurface rock, and we should have some Mars surface rock somewhere, I hope. We've also got iron ore and Mars cobblestone, copper ore. I don't know actually whether they will go through. Let's just try if that will actually go through. No, it's not going through. Has even picked up a torch? Where did I get that from? Let's put that torch away. We don't need that. And the dash. Right, the, foot. the only thing we can do with that dash is put it in the redstone furnace. So let's do that now. Now we can get our dash ingots, which is great, and that block of dash. And we can come along here now. And basically what I want to do is put all of this Mars stuff that I've got with me into this chest. So subsurface rock. And we'll put these two of the these are the two in what we've got in here, these tin and copper ore in here and the iron ore in there. What else do we need to do? We've got moon rock. I think that's going down. That's my subsurface. I've just got to check this filter. I've got a feeling that's surface, subsurface. That's good. So we can take it now as a cobblestone. Let's come. Sorry, let me just come over here. Let's take a stack of cobblestone and a stack of subsurface. And let's go and put these, first of all, in the Magna Crucible here. So at the moment it's processing iron, let's just make it process this. Now this is producing water, and I think each one of these produces one, one water. So that's a very good way, and we're going to get a lot. And this is producing hydrogen, what's it producing? Allium hyphosphate, which is the one of the components we use a lot for um, making crystals. But we can also sift this stuff as well. So if we actually take, let's just take one out of here. put this back into the system like this and then we have a look at the uses of that so 
this is what we did so we're producing this produces about one tube of aluminium hypophosphate and aluminium hypophosphate is then used for um, making these certis quartz crystals and and um, fluids crystals so that's a very useful comp that's a very useful compound and the other use which I didn't look for him if we actually sift this one to go back sorry I should have pressed carried on a bit shouldn't I for sieving we're not getting a sieve recipe for subsurface rock I thought we have a recipe for that let me just check let me check the cobblestone one I've taken it all out of there haven't I so cobblestone's also gone let's have a look Mars let's have a look at the uses of that I'm just wondering if all the recipes have been loaded up you can make steps and you can make stone that's got no uses whatsoever and we saw we can do it to water aha uh -huh. okay there's a slight problem here I haven't I need to reload the recipes so let's do an empty reload and actually while I'm here let's just make sure we've got our oxygen filled up as well so now let's have another look Got uses of this. Ah, right, this is better. So we can get certis quartz seeds, lapis lazuli dust, and other and other quartz seeds, and some hydrogen and the different chances of that. So that's a very useful item. Again, it's basically concentrating on um, applied energetics. And this one, I'm not sure which one it looked at. Then, so look uses of this one. Oh yes, this is where we get butane and isopropane. Isoprenine, which are basically used for the turbine by the looks of it. So they've got reasonably good burn times in the turbine generator. And they're also used for making rubber, of course. So let's put those two back in the system here now. And then let's go and have a look at our chest here. And then we've got some subsurface rock, yes, that's it. And we've got some surface rock here. And these also have different uses, so let's have a look at what the uses for this one is. Actually, put, this, put the cobblestone up here and the subsurface rock. And that's strange, isn't it? I saw that do that at that time. And look for the uses of this one. So this time it will make gallium arsenide as that one tube of worth per rock, which is great. And you can also make fluid seeds, which is the other thing that's really useful for this. So we're need, going to need lots of this stuff. Let's make sure this is also in the filter here. Like that. And I think that'll do for the time being. So now, what we can also do is we'll make another quarry. So let's do another quarry plus, first of all. That was parachutes. Let's just look for plus it's a good way to find stuff and here's a quarry plus so it's 32 diamonds 32 gold 64 iron redstone 16 and two ender pearls if i can remember that so 64 iron wasn't it let's just oh, get rid of that one take one of those clear that off put those up there we also need some ender pearls two of those we're also going to need um, another ender pearl actually if I'm going to make some another chest we're also going to need that doesn't want to be in here oh actually that's not too bad I was going to put this stuff no I'll leave that in there because we used that for the cryogenic stuff before, didn't we? So what else do we want? And the pearls gold. 32, so I haven't got enough. Let's just make a stack of that sort of thing. Um, diamonds. Now we've got 344 diamonds. There's plenty of diamonds. That's a good number for a change. And I think, what else do we need? Iron, gold and the pearls I've forgotten the rest of the other items redstone 16 and that's it actually 30 
Oh, I didn't get enough diamonds. Redstone. 16. Take half of that, split it into two, push one back. And I think that's enough of what we need. Okay, so let's start putting that into here. And then we can make the quarry plus. Let that run through. And with this one, I'm going to make some another set of chests. So we should have some wood in here now. Yeah, we've got 64 wood. So let's take those 64 wood and make another ender chest. Well, basically, this will give me one ender chest because that gives me 32. 32 plus one ender pearl in the assembly table should make an ender chest. I do that. How many times have I done that now? There we go, an ender chest. What I want to do is also make a, in fact that will be finished almost immediately, so let's just take that. And what I'm going to do with this one is of course I'm going to take this to Mars. So we need our rocket again and we need our light launch pads and we need some fuel canisters. Wouldn't have been, it would be a sensible thing to take some arrows as well. So let's take a stack of arrows, two stacks of arrows. And we also wanted to take some more stuff. Let's have a look. I need markers. That was also not a very sensible thing I'd forgotten last time. I can't build... Well, you can make a quarry with markers, but it's not easy to make one bigger than the default, which is 9 by 9 which isn't very useful. So, markers. We'll take, we'll take these, because we're building a quarry plus. And we're also going to take... Um, actually, let's walk. Can I do this? another chest with me actually thinking about it Marcus redstone torches 10 will be fine good and I don't need this with me that's fine and I want to make some more of these and the uses of these if you look at the uses of these if I get 64 it'll make a warp stone it needs a fairly amount of, a reasonable amount of power so we need 10 books and 10 ender pearls so we need 70 ender pearls well, that's a fair few and 70 books well because you can only make them end up off. I know you can make them better than that can we but because they're in tens it's a bit difficult so let's have a look how much end of pearls we've got 37 right okay let's shove this stuff in here well, let's get a load more end of pearls being made they shouldn't take too long now actually stick those on turn that off and books so let's go and oh actually before i go away let's put the stuff into here the markers in here like that and the chest we better put the rocket down hadn't we so let's go and do that now oh, it's night time might not be the best time to put the rocket down but uh, i'm going to do it anyway And there's a skeleton on his on his way to try and get me, huh? It's gonna it's gonna irritate him. Oh there's actually a few. Oh and the creeper. I think I don't want them to blow up near the base. So what I'm gonna do now is we'll have a quick sleep, I think. And let it become morning. We also wanted to get some glycine and some aspirin. So I should be able to find those. Asp uh, this one will do, so we just need eight. And we need some glycine. And those we can then use as food supplies in the other place. So that's good. So, but, um, the other place, I mean Mars. We also need books, don't we? I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll put those into here. So now we've got the... I should also keep these, re re these return scrolls in there because they're linked to the moon base. And I also need to repair this. 
And we need some solar panels. Let's go and get some solar panels. Actually, there's something over here that's a bit strange. And it has surprised me a bit. I'm looking out here and I see what looks to me to be like part of a um, portal. Another portal. I don't know why we've got another portal in there. Where did I put those? Where? I think they're down this side, aren't they? I'm looking for the solar panels. Ah, here they are. In fact, I might as well remove all three of these, but unfortunately what I haven't brought with me is some mint. So I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll just go through there and then fill it up afterwards. We don't need to worry about that for the time being. I wonder how things are doing in here as well. Because we've now, because we've now got that full, I bet this is blocked. Yes, it is. The problem with this is it's getting blocked when this gets empty. I'll put it back in again. Yep, yeah, that's going again. So I probably need to put some more speed upgrades in that. But having that said that, now we've got cobblestone, a Mars cobblestone, we can actually do better. Um, I didn't take, I did take it out of here, didn't I? So what else do we want? I want to put these solar panels in there. Yes, that's good. And I also want to get some mint, which I think, to fill in those holes. That's what we'll do now. I don't leave places that mobs can drop into the base. That would be very bad. Uh, it's this side again, isn't it? What I haven't shown you down here is also I put the quarry one block too near to the base. Well, actually, it's not so important. But if you look down here, it's actually it's actually dug all this bit down. And last time I was here, it was full of zombies. So I don't quite understand that. I also don't understand why that the quarry is leaving the odd piece of moon rock, which it seems to be doing. This is just a piece of ordinary moon rock. I'm not sure why it's being left, unless there's a sort of a mob in here. And it seems to have quarried out this, which is also very strange, because I haven't built this part of the nether portal. I wonder if Kathleen did uh, some testing. Anyway, that's there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up the... Uh, how am I going to get up here? I think I'll go up through this hole here. My sort of more proof ladder, as it were. Good. So, that's... Let's look at... Oops, didn't mean to do that. Oh, I need to take... Do, I do need to do something else. Let's have a look. That's got a few bits and pieces in. I want to take this with me. I think it's another thing we're going to take with us. And in fact, let's put that into here. I didn't mean to turn it around. It doesn't matter very much. So that's a that's a fully charged basic capacitor. And I think I've got another one. It's just I'm a bit hungry though at the moment. Let's just quickly go and have something to eat. What am I talking about next? Where's the other basic capacitor? Ah, do you know I made a boob? Uh-oh, I really have actually made a boob. I was too fast. What I've done is I've smelted all of this and I didn't complete the quest because there's a quest here. Let's go to start as a line to get some dash. And I can't do it anymore because I've just juice melted it all. Oh dear. Never mind. <laughs> well, we could be coming back fairly soon. How many interpols have we got? Ah, oh, good. So we need 70 of these. And we need... Let's put those into there. And we can also make a machine frame. Let's make the sag mill. Let's complete another quest for ourselves. 
fact, I don't need plus either, do I? So the sag mill is this one. This is what we need. So we need one block of dash, five redstone, and 30 iron. So let's do that. 30 iron. Oop. Not enough iron. Five redstone. And one item of dash. I think I did that as well. I want to say that I think I actually got this to work as I think what I've done is I haven't got enough iron but that's no big deal we can soon fix that let's put shift click on that one and then put the iron bucket in the top here and now we get some iron blocks coming into there that's what the idea is we only need one block to complete this part of the, the processing it shouldn't take too long Yeah, it's gone already. Let's take it out of here. So that's our 30. So now we can do, go and make that machine frame. That one. So that'll be completed fairly quickly. And we can also do this as well. One of the reasons why I wanted to sort of make a block of dash like this. And what we want to make, or what I'd like to make, is the mixer. Because the induction of spell, uh, smelter and all the rest of that is are not available. But this one, alloy mixer, is. So we need a metal caster and a block of iron. A metal caster is a machine frame. Okay, that two glass, four iron ingots, and one tin gear. That's what we've got. All right, we can blue that. we'll do that the hard way. Iron. So I'll make a quick tin gear. And it was two ingots, wasn't it? Um, iron, and it was some glass, I think. Oh, we've got plenty of glass, good. Let's go and put this into the assembly table. I think it's just two. No, four. Well, that's really done those ender pulls fast, hasn't it? My goodness. So we've got a machine frame. So let's make the sag mill. I think we can do that straight off without any problems. Good. So that's completed this quest. The mixer. So we need a, we need a metal for, yeah okay so that's done plus a block of iron okay that should be no problem and a block of iron was the other thing wasn't it yes so that should be no problem we should have some blocks of iron in here now nine good so the metal caster first so that was one block of iron plus and that one off um, I've forgotten what was the other thing we need for the for this oh and the machine frame oh, that'll be at the top so we can make the metal caster that's nice and fast turn those off so we can then put the block of dash block of iron and the, where has it gone to? Block of dash. And then we can make this alloy mixer. I'm not sure how much power that requires. Oh, not much, it's gone done straight, straight away. So let's take that out of there. And let's go and have a look at our quests again, because I'm actually run out of time. But what I'm gonna do between episodes is um, I want to finish off this, done that one. So that's a bit of a shame. This one here basically is going to be lots of scallium arsenide, that's good. And that'll get us on to these other bits and pieces, which... You know, this bit confused me in this quest line. So I think the other one was improvements. No, we've done all the improvements we can do. Must have been crystallised, no elements. Yes, elements. So here we've got the swag mill, so we can detect, submit that, and we get another octetic capacitor. Fantastic. Done. Now that is a good reward. 
So that takes us on then, what do we get enabled here? We need an inscriber calculation press. In fact, we're going to need all of those. But I'm going to do that next time. So, until then, I'm going to say bye for now and see you then.